Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today we are continuing our alternative forging fuel series. And this isn't really an alternative fuel. It's been pretty much a staple fuel uh, for a lot of blacksmiths. And we are going to be using Coke today. Now this first part that I'm laying on, you can hang up your hat trying to get Coke lit with just paper towel. You really need some charcoal or uh, kindling to get a good Coke fire started. Uh, at least that's been my experience. And this is one of my most favorite types of fuels to work with, is metallurgical grade coke, if I can get it. Now, it's quite expensive here in the States, uh, you know, to take and obtain. And the last time I've heard, it's about $1,200 a ton. So it's quite a bit of money, so I don't get a whole lot of it. So I've got a very small supply of it here. Now, uh, that being said, this whole video series was shot in collaboration with Tuan at Warp Legacy. He is supposed to be doing videos as well on this. I will make sure to leave his link in the cards and at the in the description and at the end of this video to his channel. Uh, and he's got a little different take on some things. And I hope you guys have been enjoying this series thus far. As you can see, the Coke really gets, really requires a lot of airflow. So having a good deep fire pot would be suggested with this. But it also makes a very clean, very hot fire without the smoke. Now, I would liken this a lot to like anthracite. So anthracite would be very similar to, uh, you know, coke in this instance. But I feel like the coke puts off a much hotter heat than what the anthracite would do. Um, mainly coming from its porous nature. But that's going to be it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Like always, God bless you and we will catch you on the next one.